Hello, my beautiful darling cancer babies. I hope everybody is safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. For those of you new to the channel, my name is Gina. This is a Cancerian-only channel. Cross-watchers are welcome. If you would like to check out my other channels, I do have a Virgo and Leo-only channel, and then I have my main channel, Tarot of Light. Um, all those links are below. Readings can be vice versa, flip it, twist it, reverse it to whatever way fits you and your situation, okay? Please be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Click that notification bell so you know when my readings post and when the winners are announced. I give away two four-question text readings, hashtag reading for that. I give away two $50 prizes. Um, post a positive affirmation or something that you're grateful for with a green heart to win that. And then I give away one mystery crystal box, hashtag crystals for that. Cancer baby season is upon us. Happy birthday, my babies. Um, so for Cancer Baby Season, we've got Spirit Shield, Tarot, and Oracle, um, $22.22 for the set, plus shipping. You can find that on my website. Um, I've got Mystery Crystal Boxes for $22.22. Very decent size box, guys. You get a lot of crystals for $22, okay? And um, what else? $10 off phone readings. Okay. $10 off on phone readings. Um, I do phone readings and I also do text readings, which if you want a question answered quickly, I take up to five questions. Um, the way that works is if it's via text, I send you a picture of your cards with a voice note. And if it's WhatsApp, I send you a quick video of your cards and the reading. Okay. Um, what else? I think that's it. So guys, let me tell you what happened last night. For those of you that are curious as to what it's like to be a tarot reader, let's talk about it, okay? So due to my TMJ, um, I get very severe migraines. So once every three months, I have to go get shots all around my skull, right? Now, the last week of this three months, it's usually difficult for me because the Botox is wearing off and it really affects my sleep where sometimes I can't sleep at all or sometimes I fall asleep very late. So I went yesterday to get the Botox and um, it takes a couple days for it to kick in. So it's about two, between 2.40 to 2.45 in the morning, okay? In the, in, the, in the middle of the night. And I'm rolling over trying to get to sleep and I hear hoorah, like the army, the Navy, whatever, hoorah, like big shouts of hoorah. And then I heard specifically the marching of soldiers and when they sing that song, you know, uh, what, I don't, I don't know what the song is, but you know, they, they say something and then the soldiers repeat it, but they're marching or running. Okay. Um, so I did not have the time to dissect what any of that means, but I know it was intended for my cancer babies because spirit wanted me to get up at three o'clock in the morning to do this reading. I said, listen, for a celestial being, someone that's supposed to be so intelligent, you need to know that that's not happening. <laughs> okay. <laughs> like you need to know that I am not going to wake up at three o'clock in the morning to do this reading. Okay. And you know, uh, I heard, don't forget though. Okay. Don't forget. So I wake up in the morning. Of course I forgot. <laughs> Of course I forgot. And, um, you know, I go about my morning, the dogs and everything. And then I'm in the shower right before I came to sit here. Uh, and I, I heard the hoorah again. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to put my army cover covered shirt on and we're going to get it on and pop it and figure this shit out. Okay. So let's take a quick look at, um, Let's dissect this a little bit. Okay, first and foremost, some of you could be in the Army, the Navy, the Marines, whatever the case may be. We could be dealing with somebody that's in the Army, the Navy, the Marines, or whatever the case may be. But ultimately, let's go a little bit deeper than that. What does the Army, the Marines, and whatever else, I know some people in the Army, so I don't know about the Marines and the Navy, but apparently there's a first three months of boot camp, okay? During this boot camp, it's very difficult because what the drill sergeant's job is to do is to break you down as a human being, complete annihilation of who you were before you entered those doors so that they can rebuild you as a soldier, okay? Rebuild you as a soldier, which is interesting. Let's think about that, okay? so. This may pertain to you. This may pertain to your person. But 
I mean, the energy that I'm picking up on here very strongly more so is a massive blow to somebody's life. We are talking like annihilation. We are talking about like a Hurricane Katrina sweeping through someone's life. And I see someone holding on to a pole for dear life, okay, so that they don't get swept away. But then a sense of rebuilding, okay? So let's take a look. This could be you, Cancer. It could be your person. But the point of that is, is that, you know, once a soldier gets through that boot camp, once he's he or she is recreated into a soldier, I mean, now you've got someone that takes great pride, which by the way, shout out to all military in the United States. You are loved. You are appreciated. Thank you to my veterans. Thank you guys for your service. We love you and appreciate you. Okay. But there's a sense of pride that comes with getting through that. There's a sense of pride that says, I'm in the military. I've achieved this. I've, I've, you know, d discarded my old skin, entered into my new skin, and I take pride in all that I am and everything that I represent. Okay. And everything that I represent. So let's go take a look. I'm sorry for that long intro, but you know, this is what it's like to be a tarot reader. Everything means something. Everything that you hear is not just nonsense. Okay. Does spirit not want me to use this? All right, I'm going to take two cards. Spirit, tell me about Cancer, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Okay, yeah. So we've got separation here, and we've got tradition. Cancer, so first and foremost, this is you taking a break. So the first thing we're going to notice here is a separation. You're going to go into hermit mode. Or again, cancer, this could be your person, okay? Someone here is going into hermit mode. But I feel like it's leading a person here into a more traditional place, into a more mature place. And I feel like whoever's going through this is submitting, submitting to God, the divine, their spiritual journey, okay? You know what, what they say, right? When you can't stand anymore, you kneel, right? And that it doesn't matter to whatever God you're praying to, or if it's the divine spirit, it doesn't matter if you're Christian or a spiritual person, when you can't stand, you kneel. And there's the Hierophant, Taurus Energy, first card out, and there's the King of Swords, a soldier. God is making a soldier out of you or out of your person, maybe even out of both of you, Cancer. Okay, tell me about Cancer, please. The Hierophant and the King of Swords could also be like some a military sergeant or something like that. Uh, this could be a representation of someone older, wiser, okay? Older and wiser. Okay, uh, we've got the Page of Wands, we've got the Hanged Man, and we've got the Tower. I feel like this King of Swords energy told you something or told your person something. And whoever this King of Swords is, relayed this message, but it wasn't taken seriously. Cancer, this could be someone older than you. It could be someone older than your person. It could be something that was said when you were very young or when your person was very young. And it has taken quite some time for this piece of advice to hit someone, to get them to understand. The hanged man talks about suffering and sacrificing to achieve some form of enlightenment, right? Okay. And the tower is that hurricane, Katrina, annihilation of your life. That that th this is the the boot camp that I was telling you about. Okay. Someone here may have said, "Don't do this," or "This is what's going to happen." The hierophant is a teacher. The hierophant is wise. The hierophant knows what the hell they're talking about okay <laughs> the hierophant you know and the king of swords this could be it could have been advice very intelligent advice on maybe protecting your energy or um you know some type of very intelligent and wise advice was given possibly when someone here was younger and it's like oh i get it now type of moment we're having an, oh, I get it now type of moment. Three of Pentacles and the World card. So Cancer, 
The Three of Pentacles talks about building a solid foundation, okay? The Three of Pentacles talks about once the tower falls because it's not built on a solid foundation. You're trying to build your life on a foundation where everything is going to fall apart. Okay, everything, there's cracks in it, it's broken, it's getting moldy, it's decaying, uh, it's 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 not even, okay? We got the leaning tower of Pisa here, right? So it, it, Spirit is saying this has got to go, okay? This has got to go. Uh, I feel like with the world card, I'm getting an all around vibe. Someone's health may be getting affected. Work may be getting affected. Love may be getting affected. Looks may be getting affected. Relationships are getting affected. Everything is getting affected. But Cancer, it's all happening for the greater good. It's all happening to rebuild on a solid foundation. The Wheel of Fortune. Guys, I have not explained the Wheel of Fortune like this in quite some time, okay? So the Wheel of Fortune is good luck. It's all your wishes coming true. It's your prayers coming true, right? Okay, or, or prayers answered, let's just say. But what a lot of people don't realize is there's not a little, you know, angel that comes out of the sky or a little fairy that comes out of the sky and just hands it to you in a beautiful uh, packaging, gift wrapped packaging, you know, it is not the way it happens. Okay. So Cancer, let's just say your dream was to build your own house. You go and you look for land and you find this beautiful hill, the, the, the grass is swaying, the sun is shining and you're like, that's it. That's the piece. That's where I want to build my house. You buy the land. Now construction starts. We've got yelling. We've got screaming. We've got permits. We've got people getting fired and having to hire new people. We've got wrong parts coming in. We've got all types of chaos happening. But in the end, when all is said and done, Cancer, you've got this perfect house built exactly to the T the way you wanted it. And Cancer, that's what's happening here. All hell is about to break loose, but it's for the greater good. Now, Cancer, this could be happening to you or this could be happening to your person. Now, the King of Swords and the Hierophant, I also want to say, could be Jesus. It could be Allah. It could be Buddha. It could be a God. It could be someone here that's giving wise advice, okay? And, you know, a person here that was much younger, not experienced, and, and you could be 50 years old and you're obviously not going to be more wise than a god, okay? If you have no religion and you claim to just be spiritual, then you're not even listening to spiritual people. When people tell you to meditate. When people tell you don't seek revenge, when people tell you don't do baneful magic, when people tell you to do all these things, you're not even listening to them. Okay, you're just listening to nobody. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, I mean, being a, a spiritual person would mean I'm connected to spirit. I'm connected to my ancestors. I'm connected to nature. I'm connected to the divine. But you're not even doing that. You know, you're connecting to nothing. You know, you might be walking around and saying you're spiritual, but are you really connected to the other side? Are you really listening to your spirit guides? Probably not. Probably not. Okay. Okay. You know, if you're a Christian, are you really reading your Bible? If you're Muslim, are you really reading your Bible? If you're Buddhist, do you really, you know, uh, operate in a lifestyle that Buddha lived in? Okay. I can't think off the top of my head what other religions there are, but you guys get the point. Okay. You guys get, if you're Jewish, you know, if you're Jewish, are, are you really reading? I think it's the Quran. Please forgive me if I'm wrong. Okay. Are you really being true to the advice and guidance from the spiritual realm, whether you're religious or whether you're a spiritual person, okay? Are you really living true to what is being advised of you or what you believe in? Are you practicing what you preach, okay? And I don't think that has happened. So there's going to be this aha moment here of now I understand why the Bible says this. Now I understand why the Quran says this. Now I understand why Buddha says this. Now I understand why holistic teachers or Reiki people or um, Reiki, not people, uh, Reiki um, guides and stuff like that. Uh, now I understand why people say to meditate, clear the chakras, uh, ground my energy. Someone here is about to have an aha moment. 
Again, Cancer, this could be you. This could be someone in your energy. But I feel like, Cancer, what's going to end up happening ultimately with the Four of Swords is have you ever been in a position in your life where something happens and it's so catastrophic that all you can do is sit down and be like, Like, I, you know, like something like, a, you know, a large pl a pile of plates falls or something happens. Why don't I have a tissue? Hang on, guys. Let me get a tissue. My nose. Anyway, so do you understand what I'm saying? Like that moment that you walk in the house and your dog has ripped up your entire couch and you're like, let me just be quiet because I'm going to kill the dog. Yeah. You know, you walk in the house and your dog has had diarrhea everywhere and you're like, okay, just breathe. Okay. You know, like that type of energy. And I think that's all you're going to be able to do here, cancer or whoever's going through this. I'm just going to go lay down. That's going to be the end. It's almost like, Oh my gosh, I, I'm just going to go lay down because I can't even process what's happening right now. Okay. But cancer, I feel that whoever's going through this, okay. What it's leading you to is love. What it's leading you to is money. What it's leading you to is intelligence. Oh, <laughs> okay. Do you hear me now, bitch? That's what your spirit guides are telling you. That's what Jesus is telling you. That's what Allah is telling you. That's what Buddha is telling you. That's what God is telling you. For those of you who are Jewish, I think that's, if there's God and there's Jesus, okay? Uh, this is what your spirit guides are telling you. Do, do you hear me now, bitch? This is your ancestors talking to you. This is your, your angels, your guardians. Do you hear me now? Do you hear me? Okay. Just, I want to make sure you could hear me now. All right. Okay. That's what's happening here, Cancer. Spirit is just about fed up of someone's shit here, okay? And I hate to say it, Cancer, but it could be yours. It could be yours. It could be you, okay? What happens when you have a small child, Cancer? For those of you who are mothers and fathers, you'll understand. For those of you who are dog moms, dog dads, I'm not going to say cats because we all know cats just, they run the house. Okay. Um, but for those of you who have been, you know, responsible in guiding someone, what happens when they don't listen? We take shit away. Okay. We take shit away. We take shit away from our kids. Uh, but iPad has to go. Tablet has to go. No TV, no nothing. You're going to sit in your room and you're going to think about what you did bad dog, you're going to go sit in that corner. You're going to go sit in your crate and you're going to think about what you did. Okay. And this is the divine, whether you're religious or spiritual. Okay. Saying, do you hear me now? Because now I'm going to take everything away from you. I'm going to put you in a corner and you're going to think about what you did. Even for my cancers out there that think, oh, who me? Me? No, that's not going to happen. <laughs> you know, uh, even my cancers that are like, oh, well, you know, I'm perfect. I'm perfect. Cancer, let me, let me just open your eyes to something. Even if you are a cancer that ends up being hurt by everyone you meet. Okay. And you're like, Gina, I have done nothing but do good to people my whole life. You're still at fault for something. And I'm going to tell you what it is not using the spirit of discernment to see if you should get involved. If there is a friend or a family member or a love interest that's going through something and spirit is trying to teach this person a lesson and you come in and you're like, oh no, 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 this person doesn't need to be taught a lesson. Let me go in. Let me pay their bills. Let me get them a car. Let me open a business for them. Let me, let me fix all their problems. And whatever higher power is trying to teach this individual a lesson, whether it be karma, God, Jesus, Buddha, Allah, whatever is out there. Okay. And they're sitting there like, who the hell is this bitch? 
I'm over here trying to teach this person a lesson, trying to get them on the right path. And where did this Captain Save a Ho come from? They're, they're restoring everything I have taken, trying to teach this person a lesson. I took their car so that they would take the bus to walk so they would appreciate the next time they have a car. And here comes cancer, Captain Sabaho. Here you could borrow mine. Here, let me co-sign on a car for you. Let me open a business for you so you can afford a vehicle. Who told you to get involved? Maybe the lesson there, cancer, is that you're not you were not put on this earth to save the world. Stop being Captain Sabaho. That's why every single person you try helping hurts you because it's not them that's hurting you it's whatever higher power is putting that person in that position to go through what they're going through and you're getting involved i have a 22 year old son when i when he was young and i would scold him if my sister got involved if my mother-in-law got involved if anyone got involved when i was trying to teach him a lesson oh you would catch some hands you would be hearing shit from me like mind your business. Okay. This is my child. I'm the one who's got to put up with him. I'm going to teach him what's right and wrong. Worry about your own freaking kids. Okay. So, you know, cancer, even for those of you that are like, I'm an earth angel, I've never done anything wrong to anybody. You still have something that spirit is like, why, why do you get involved in my business? Why do you try to take over my job? You're not God. You're not God. Okay, so Cancer, this is Spirit saying, do you get it now? Do you hear me now? Do, do you hear me now? Okay, good. Okay, good. So Cancer, this is a catastrophic event happening in someone's life because they think they know it all, because they think that they're in control of everything. But meanwhile, compared to whoever's speaking here with the King of Swords and the Hierophant, this person's only a baby. And I don't care if you're 50 something years old, 60 something years old, you're just a little tiny baby to God, the divine, whatever higher power is around you or in your life, your ancestors, your spirit guides, you're just a tiny little toddler walking around, getting your ass into all types of trouble. Okay. So I, I feel like what's happening here is whatever higher power this is, whether it's your ancestors, whatever, they're getting fed up with the King of Swords. It's like, I tried being nice. I tried to use positive reinforcement with you. They say to use positive reinforcement when you're te teaching your children, your pets, positive reinforcement and spirit has tried and you still don't want to listen and you still don't want to listen. So spirit is, is, and this could be you cancer. This could be you, or it could be someone around you. We've got the death card, scorpionic energy. Okay. You hear me now? Perfect. Okay. Now it's time for you to switch it up. Now it's time for you, the old person to die, and we are going to rebuild something better. Okay. Just like in the army, when you step into that boot camp, who you were before doesn't exist. Who you were before, that person that used to sleep till 1030 in the morning, no, we're not doing that anymore. That person that used to do A, B, C, and D, no, we're not doing that either. Okay. Okay. We're not doing that. So the, the army, the Marines, the whatever, they tear you down and they build a soldier and spirit is saying, do you hear me now? Because we're about to go into some serious boot camp here. Three of cups and the 10 of swords. Okay. So cancer, I feel like the day will come that you are going to celebrate this terrible time in your life. The day will come where you're going to look back in all of this and say, oh my God, that was such a terrible time, but I can't believe where I am right now. You know, I cannot believe where I am right now. I'm blessed beyond measure. I have everything I want, everything that I need. You know, we've got the queen of wands here and we've got the eight of cups. Cancer, I feel like people are leaving your life. Cancer, I feel like many of whoever's going through this is sitting in Queen of Wands energy. And Spirit is saying, this is where you need to be. This is where I expect you to be. Okay. And I keep trying to communicate with you. I keep trying to guide you. I keep trying to hand you blessings and you're not focused on that. You're focused on this crap over here. 
the hell's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? Okay? What is wrong with you? This is what I want for you. This is what I want for you. This is like your children, you know, you, you work hard and you provide your kids a beautiful and safe home. You have a, 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 an account for them to go to college. You got all this, this stuff lined up for them to have a great life. And they look at you and they say, I want to be a drug dealer. Fuck college. I want to be a drug dealer. I want to be a rapper is what I want to be. Okay. I, I, I want to be, I want to be a stripper. Okay. <laughs> like, you know, and there's nothing wrong with those things. Okay. There's nothing wrong with those things, but, but go to college. You can be a stripper on your downtime. You could work on your, on your studio doing your rap time. You know, if you are lucky enough and fortunate enough to have parents that bless you with that, do it on the side. And Spirit is saying, I'm over here trying to, you know, get you everything that you need to be here. And what you want to do is with the Queen of Wands, think that you know everything. Because the Queen of Wands thinks that she knows everything. Trust me. Okay? The Queen of Wands does sit in a little bit of ego. The Queen of Wands is not an Empress or an Emperor, but may come off like they're one. The Queen of Wands is also a little bit materialistic, a little bit shallow, a little bit, you know, thinking that uh, I'm I'm strong enough to save the world and myself. Okay, so Cancer, you, with that Eight of Cups energy here, you are leaving this mentality behind, and you are ascending. Okay, you are ascending. You are moving away from what whatever however way you used to act and handle shit before you're moving away from it okay the str the strength card here the emperor and the ace of wands spirit is getting serious whoever i'm talking about here cancer spirit is not playing anymore it's an energy of you know what it's time for me to lay down the law can you hear me now can you hear me now now that you've lost your job, you've lost your health, your looks are going downhill, uh, you know, uh, you, you like going to the gym, torn rotor cuff, sprained ankle. We're not going to worry about muscles anymore. Get your fucking life together. Okay. That That's what's happening here. That's what's happening here. Oh, you like all that money to go out and do stupid shit with it? Lost your job. You want to think you're cute? I could be fucking adorable. That's what spirit is saying here. It's time for me to lay down the law and show you what I'm capable of. I've been very nice up until now, but you're not listening to me. You're not listening to me. And yeah, you're right, Cancer. Everybody has free will. You're absolutely right. But stop annoying me then. Stop praying and begging and crying and sniveling and at my doorstep, why don't I have this? Why don't I have this? God give me this. Uh, Allah bring me this. You don't understand? Why are you sniveling at my doorstep praying for shit then? When you don't want to listen to me when it comes down to how to achieve these things. Father God, I want real love. Spirit, I want real love. I, I call about ancestors, whatever, because I want a true soulmate. But then you get yourself involved with people that aren't even on your level. They've got no qualities of a husband or a wife whatsoever. Zero qualities of a husband or wife whatsoever. Okay, uh, you know, and meanwhile, spirit may bring a guy or a girl into your life, has a job, you know, a, a, you know, very well-rounded person. And you're like, meh, meh, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And meanwhile, so stop sniveling at my doorstep. Of course you have free will, but then leave me the fuck alone. Do what you want to do. Okay. Again, let's take it back to the analogy of having kids. You know, your kids are 19 years old. They're living in your house. They want to do whatever they want to do. And you know, you're going to be like, listen, there's rules here. There's benefits of living in this house, but there's rules here. And if you want the free will and the freedom to do whatever you want to do, go to handle your own bills, go handle your own life. And that's what spirit is saying. You can't have your cake and eat it too. You can't pray to me. You can't manifest to me. You can't come sniveling at my doorstep because you're lacking in life and you don't have joy when all you're trying to do is do shit your way and not listen. Okay. That's what's happening here. 
Huh, this was a deep message, but let me ask you, Cancer. Can you hear me now? Okay. All right, guys. I love you so much, and that's what I got for you, and I will see you soon. Take care, my darlings.